so today we are going to start with marketer chart projection so in plain sailing we consider that uh, earth is a flat surface not a spherical surface and that's why the north south distance obtained by that is the d light because it's a flat surface so difference in that is d light and the east west distance is departure which is at the mean latitude but actually if they, for long distances if the earth is actually curved and we consider it to be flat so we will not get actual distances because as the, we proceed for higher latitudes the distance between the longitude is reducing because of the spheroid shape of the earth so, so this method is plain sailing is up to few hundred meters only 600 meters maximum and uh, it's more accurate results near the equator at poles the convergence of meridians is maximum and at the equator it is least so it's good near the equator and uh, this plane sailing is less accurate of course in higher latitudes which the meridians are converging rapidly and the more higher you go the more errors we will get while calculating the distance course and all so let's see that So, if you try to extend the use of train selling or gate distances, there will be a lot of inaccuracy. And for solving that, we need another method, which was called Mercator selling. So, Mercator selling assumes the earth as a curvature. And since the earth is as a curvature, but we have to draw it on a chart like this, where longitudes seems to be at equal distance, then for that, Correspondingly, we have to make the difference in latitude scale so that when latitude is placed at a different distance, they like compensate for the latitude, uh, longitude, what you call distance. So that is what we are going to study now that how latitude scale is changed to keep the equidistance longitude and make a Mercator chart. So let's see what this is, um, what is Mercator chart and what is Mercator sailing and what is the concept. So basically we know what is Mercator projection. Mercator projection is a cylindrical orthomorphic projection of uh, your earth like this. This is a cylindrical and orthomorphic that is compensated for the same longitude that latitude scale is changed. So it's uh, like an, an elongated cylinder. So it was started by Gerald Mercator in 1500. And among the cartographers, Mercator projection is the cylindrical orthomorphic projection. So for general map, this is the best option as of now maybe not 100 percent accurate but presently it's the best option for cha making charts so in marketer chart meridian parallels of latitude drum lines and equator are all straight lines at right angles to each not like mnemonic chart so this is your marketer chart, which is the projection of your earth. So the equator and parallels of latitude are horizontal straight lines and longitudes are at 90 degrees. But your longitude are equidistance. And as you go up towards the pole from the equator, your latitude scale or distance or spacing between the parallels of latitude will be increasing which is based on the mathematical condition which will best satisfy the 
calculation on which the chart is made which is not part of your course and this thing mainly we have to we will see how approximately we can construct this chart that is what is asked in our questions so why latitude scale is different because longitudes are converging but we prefer longitude scale to is longitude at equidistance so to compensate for that we change the latitude scale and that's why it will compensate for the longitude convergence but uh, even by making this or taking care of this compensation if you go to very high latitudes then this uh, distortion is quite large and I swear Mercator charts are not preferred at approximately above 70 degree or something. You have polar charts or mnemonic charts. So the amount of distortion is there in the longitude. We have to compensate the same amount of distortion on the latitude in the north-south direction. That is the calculation we are going to do as per the distortion in the longitude what distortion we have to keep in the latitude that is our mercator sailing calculation so one minute of longitude how much it will measure or how many times of that distance will be in the latitude that we will measure so as soon as you go to higher latitude this uh, longitudinal variation varies as cosine of the latitude as you know cos course is equal to departure upon d long so the departure that is the difference in longitude uh, varies as the cosine of the course or the cosine of the latitude so that is uh, the basis of our first type of our calculation So we will see the calculation part when we are doing the numerical. So then the latitude scale should also vary as per the secant of latitude or the longitudinal or meridional parts which we have calculated and that we will calculate what will the difference in each latitude scales depending on the DMP difference in meridional parts. this is your mercator chart you can see that uh, for the full earth there is a constant longitude scale and uh, there is a changing latitude scale which varies as the second of the latitude so one nautical mile is 1852 But since latitude scale is increases with latitude, so length of a nautical mile on Mercator chart is measured from the latitude scale. So when we are using Mercator chart, we should measure distances from, we should measure from the latitude which we are transiting because every latitude will have different scale and distance. So how will a course line look like? You can see this is the course line on a Mercator chart. This is the course line if you're drawing on a market earth. And if you draw it on a Mercator chart, it will be called a rum line. And it will be crossing the meridian at same angle unless heading north-south. If it is a This will be a rum line it will spiral towards the pole if it is at the same angle so if you draw same line on the market chart it will come as a straight line
so this is called a right angle navigation triangle on a mercator chart is formed by the meridian passing through the departure we have a longitude the initial longitude from the initial position parallel through arrival position so final latitude and the rumb line through the two positions so the course between the two positions and then we will measure the dmp that is the number of times one minute of longitude can be measured along on the latitude and that we will calculate from the nuli table where we assume the earth to be as a square so difference in meridian part or dmp is the length of the meridian of One minute of one unit of longitude on the latitude scale. How much time? That is, how many times one minute of longitude can be represented on a latitude scale? We will understand it with the numerical. So depending on north and south, we will add it, and if it is south and south or north and north, we will subtract it to get the difference. So this is what we are going to do on the triangle on a Mercator chart. This is how we will draw it because the longitude scale is parallel and constant. We will say parallel of longitude is on horizontal. And difference is your DMP. So course is the angle that can be found by this trigonometry. That we have we are going from A to B, and this is the initial longitude. This is the final latitude. So this will be our course. And the distance scale varies with the latitude. so that's why we will use the difference in meridian power to find the latitude or the latitude scale and we will have a constant scale of longitude and opposite side in units of longitude is your d long so this is your dmp this is your d long So d long is difference in longitude and latitude difference is measured in corresponding to longitude. That is your meridian part. So it is difference in meridian part is your difference in the latitude latitude side distance. So let's see what is meridional parts. So meridian part of a latitude is the length of a meridian on a Mercator chart between equator and any parallel of latitude, expressed in units of longitude scale. Similarly, the difference of meridional parts. So meridional parts is the distance between equator and that latitude, corresponding to the longitude scale. And difference in meridional parts is the um, difference between two parallels of latitude. So uh, as per the longitude scale. so meridional parts is a distance from suppose we want to calculate for 40 degrees so between 0 degree and 40 degree meridional parts will be more but between 39 and 40 degree that will be the difference in meridional parts that is between 39 and 40 degree how many longitudes of 1 minute can uh be have a distance or compensate so meridian parts is always from equator and difference in meridian parts is between two latitudes if we get from nuri's table page 97 uh, meridian parts table so this is the meridian parts on his book is page 140 so we have been given for each latitude degree and 
for each minute. So zero degree, zero minute, zero degree, one minutes, zero degrees, 10 minutes like that. We have for each degree and minutes, what will be the meridional parts. So if you want to find out for three degrees, zero, de zero minutes, so this is the meridional parts for zero degrees. Uh, three degrees zero minutes so we'll calculate the meridional parts for the latitudes we want and then we subtract or add as per north south and then we will get the difference in meridional parts Because meridional parts are distance from equator, so distance from equator from 0 to 2 degrees and difference from equator to 0 to 3 degrees. So when we subtract, you will get the difference from 2 and 3 degrees. So when we see here, this is the diagram for calculation of this formula deriving. This is the course, right angle triangle, so tan course will be opposite, up will be long and face is difference in meridional parts. So because at departure it's causing a lot of distortion and not accurate reading and we want the final position so we are using the d-long and instead of d-light we are using the difference in meridional parts so this is a smaller triangle and from this we get cos course is equal to d-light upon distance so again same we have at this position a and we are we have to go to this position too and we will go along this distance on this course where we will cover this latitude difference which will be measured in the dmp which we will calculate and this is will be longitude difference So in Mercator, difference in longitude is equidistance. So that is in Mercator selling. In plane selling, we don't assume that longitudes are equidistance. So there we calculate the departure. And that's why it cannot be d also. 